Vengeance 25V toy hauler here at Haled RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, quite possibly our very best selling Vengeance travel trailer. It's just the perfect mix of you know space, storage, weight, affordability, uh, function, feature, everything. It's just a sweet setup. Um, you know, starting right here at the tongue, you're going to see a, a power tongue jack so it's easier to get this thing hooked and unhooked and set and leveled. You also notice that we have this big tray here, and this is uh, this can be used for anything. Um, you know, generally the idea behind it is something like a generator rack, where you could uh, take an exterior generator and have it set and mounted on your trailer. And you notice that you also have a dual battery capability here, so that you can have double the dry camp time if that is your intention. Um, you know, the colors on this, what I like about it is it's not one of these extreme in your face paint packages. It's subtle, it's nice, it's effective, it's clean. It's good colors, you know, black, white, red, uh, awesome color contrast that's been used for a long time and always looks good. Now, we sell a lot of these as I've mentioned, so equipment packages may vary on the one you're taking home. The one you're taking home may not exactly match the trailer that I have here in the video. I like to point that out. This is really here for stock footage to teach you about the coach and to show you how it's laid out. Um, this is one of those examples of things that may or may not be on your trailer. Always double check our options list. We like to publish that for you. This is what I call a patio party deck. You see this uh, draw uh, cable system here effectively. It holds, uh, geez, over a thousand pounds. But, uh, you know, it's generally you're not going to overload it. But the idea here is that after you get the bikes unloaded, you have something you can actually do with this ramp. Now, these, uh, these uh, kind of gate guards, can you can leave them uh, on like this. You can uh, take them off. You can form like a, a cage with it so the kids can't walk off. You can do anything you want with it. Now, another nice thing I like to point out is this is a true toy hauler. And there's a couple qualifications to go with that. First of all, it is eight and a half wide. This is a wider body construction than an average travel trailer. It's six inches wider. It makes a big difference. That is the difference between setting two full dressers side by side and only having room for one. Secondly, we actually have D-rings. I've seen a lot of things calling themselves toy haulers that literally have nowhere to tie down a bike. And to me, that's just absolutely nonsense. And finally, this is uh, a dovetail rear uh, area right here, and that will ease the angle of attack that your bike has to go on so that when you're loading, you don't tend to bottom out your bike that you paid a bunch of money for here. Now, both of these benches on the side will fold up and can fold out of the way. Um, when they're totally folded up, you can put the cushions on the bed in the front, which means they only stick out like maybe two or three inches off of each side, so you don't really lose a lot of space there. Uh, in the 15 season, the uh, Vengeance Factory made a changeover from a freestanding table to the pedestals, and you might think that's going backwards, but this is a huge, huge table. And it, what was happening is, way over here in the corner, someone would, when they'd sit up, they would tend to push down on their hand with it, and they would tweak the table, and they were busting the tabletops off the base. So, they went to the pedestal table set up, it's tried and true, it's tested, and you notice that these are um, recessed mounts so not only are they more stable but your bike isn't going to have to trip over them when you're loading um, and these you can see the table's really sturdy um, your rear windows here so instead of having window covers like these that stick out they use these handy little snap-on shades and you can completely black out the sun and have privacy so if you have something in here that you know cost you a, a decent amount of money you can keep it sort of out of sight out of mind from onlookers now, uh, most toy haulers do not have central air. That is one of the areas where Vengeance is pretty sweet. This model right here does have central air conditioning. Uh, a few other things that I really like about these is you notice this is an open design garage. You can load clear up to the front entry door. So uh, you have, I don't know, pretty close to 18 to 20 foot of functional garage space. And you have plenty of storage here in the uh, kitchen cabinets. Because this is a toy hauler, it is taller, you do have larger cabinets. Um, the giant sink is something that they're finally starting to go to more and more, and I love it. You can actually get big pots, pans, and items in there. Now, part of the, uh, I believe it's called the Premier Package, um, we have upgraded to some nicer hardware, like the pull-out sink that you see here. The uh, stove top cooker that we're looking at here, you see it has the, uh, the glass folding top. Now, when it's down like this, you can use it like extra counter space. And when it's up, it's a, uh, a backer shield so that you're not splattering grease or accidentally splashing water against your window and having to clean that all the time. 
Um, now, here's a big thing. A lot of people don't realize this. Uh, this is an 8 cubic foot fridge, not a 6. It is 33% larger than the standard refrigerator in a, in a travel trailer. A lot of people don't notice that because it's mounted clear down to the floor. And I've seen some manufacturers try to trick people by mounting the refrigerator higher to make it look larger. It's, there's, un, there's an unfortunate amount of deceit involved in buying an RV sometime. And that's one of the reasons I put these videos together is to help kind of debunk the myths and make things a little more clear for you. This trailer has an outdoor television set up. You mount your flat screen on here, you lift the whole TV up, and you see this little mount right here. There's a, a matching mount on the outside of the trailer that uh, you can mount that on. Right here you see we have a handy charging station. You have a 12 volt power point as well as a pair of USB chargers. So you can take things like any mobile device that is USB chargeable like a smartphone you can uh, hook them up to that and keep yourself uh, you know, up and running all the time. Another cool thing on Vengeance is they go with these slick uh, wooden uh, plantation blinds. Far nicer than a, a cheap metal blind that tends to get bent up and wrecked and destroyed. Now notice too, they're still putting diamond plate across the floorboards here. And that's to help so that like your, uh, your kickstands and whatnot don't accidentally dig into and scratch your walls. Those are little corners I'm seeing a lot of people start to cut. And, just a handy convenience feature, this does have a very nice battery disconnect built right into it here. Another cool thing about this floor plan is that it has a private bathroom and bedroom uh, behind a closed door away from your garage. So you don't have to feel like you're sleeping in a garage. Now, um, the bathroom here is absolutely enormous. You see you still have air and heat in here. And because this is a toy hauler, it has an exceptionally tall shower and I'll actually demonstrate that for you. I'm 6'3", especially with these shoes on and I'm standing with my back flat against the wall and you can see how much extra room you have above my head. So unless you're a, a, you know, an NBA player, you're uh, not ever going to have to worry about clocking your head in the shower and even then, you're probably still good. Another neat little thing, I don't have power run to the unit right now. But you see how these switches are a little bit blue? When you click them on, they're backlit. So they're lit to tell you, you know that they're uh, online and working. Very cool. Um, your front wall here, if you notice, uh, there's not a lot of light up here right now. I don't have a window open, but this wall right here is darker colored. It's an accent wall. It helps make that feel a little bit deeper. And you have exceptionally large cabinets above the bed. You can see how deep those are. Tons of space in here. Again, a lot of manufacturers are cutting corners. They're only giving you a shelf, not cabinets above the bed. Little areas like that start to add up over time. We do have a second entry door here so that uh, you know um, you can hop in and out of the bed whenever you're ready. And again, we do have a private front bedroom with a door that closes. And we also have an additional TV station here in the uh, bedroom. And you notice it's the same type of easy on, easy off um, TV setup. So you could actually take one television and use it indoors, outdoors, and here in the bedroom. You can just quickly, easily move it around. It's very, very simple. Um, there's so much more to be said about this coach, um, but you know I only have a few minutes to put these together, so please give us a call at 800-256-5196. Learn more about Vengeance Toy Haulers and the other offerings here at Halid RV. Uh, you know, things like parts, financing, uh, trade-ins, we do everything all in one spot. We make it very fun and easy. So, uh, you know, take care, be safe, and happy camping.